Welcome back everyone for another video. So in this video, we're going to talk about slope. What is slope of a line? So take a look at these four images I have here. The one on the left, the very first image, you can see the graph as you read from left to right, it has a positive slope because it's going up. So we said that this line, it has a positive slope. And for the second image, as you read from left to right, it's going downward. So we said that this line has a negative slope. And the third image, it's a flat line. So this line has a zero slope. And the last one, it's a vertical line. So this line has an undefined slope, or we can say no slope. All right, so this would be an undefined slope. All right, so let's take a look at this illustration. So here I have a graph that has a slope one. Okay, it goes through the point negative three, zero and zero three. Now observe, as I increase the slope, what happened? And as I decrease the slope, what happens? So if I'm increasing the slope, so say M is two, then the graph is looking more like this. So it becomes more steeper. So as you increase slope, it becomes steeper and steeper. And as we decrease the value for slope, it becomes more shallow. So it's eventually going to flatten out to zero slope. And from here, we can decrease the value of m to negative numbers. So we'll have negative slope, such as negative one, that will be this line, which has a slope of negative one. And as we keep going, it becomes more steeper and steeper for negative values as well. So now that we have a better understanding of what a slope is, now let's look at the formula to find a slope of a line. So the slope of slope is denoted by using the letter M of a line that passes through any points, P or Q, that's what I have here, has the coordinates X1, Y1, and Q has the coordinate X2, Y2, is given by this formula, M is equal to Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Or graphically, if you're reading the slope from a graph, you can also use the fact that it is rise, over run or you can also think of it as it is the change in the y coordinate over change in the x coordinate so these are different ways you can remember the formula to find a slope so now let's look at an example so take a look at this problem so we want to find the slope of the line that passes through the points p and q so let's label these points p as x1 y1 and q as x2 y2 now we know the formula to find slope is given by y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 now i'm going to substitute y2 and y1 y2 is 5 and x y1 is 1 over x2 which is 8 and x1 is 2 and then we do the computation, we get 5 minus 1, which is 4, and 8 minus 2, that's 6. So that's our slope, but we're going to simplify it. So this would be 2 over 3. So there you have it, you have your slope. So this is a positive slope, which means if you were to graph the line that connects P and Q, it will look something like that. So you'll have... Uh, your points P and Q connecting through them using a positive slope. Okay, now let's let's look at another example where we're going to find the slope by using the idea of rise over run. So take a look at this problem. So let's find M, where M is the slope. So we're going to use M is given by rise over run 
Well, rise is the change in the y coordinates and run is the change in the x coordinates. So what, what are those? So if I look at this graph, so let's, let's label. So we're going to draw a triangle. So you select two points that are on the graph. So I'm going to pick this point and those points. So they're on the graph. So I need to go from one point to the next point. So I'm going to rise. So one, two. So my rise happens to be going up. So that's two units positive. And now for run, I'm going to go from uh, one, two, three. So what I have done, I have created a triangle to go from one point to the other. So my run happens to be on the right side. So that's also positive three. So M for this graph happens to be two over three positive slope. All right. So um, this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Mm -hmm.